it's Larry. And it's Steve. And we're playing Final Fantasy IX. Are we? We are. Awesome. When last we met, we watched the opening sequence and hit an old man in the head. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So now we're going to right through here. We see, the, we see Vivi here laying on the ground with the little girl asking if, Are you all white? Are you okay? No, oh, you dropped the ticket! Bye bye! Should I have a lisp or something? Somebody Jeez. just got honed hard. Jeez. Okay, so uh, we are going. So I'm gonna try and uh, find all the items in here. So let's see. There is like a bloodhound for all right, treasure so we got chests. There's a potion in here. There's one other thing on this side. Ow. That dumb rat kid? He ran right into you. Yeah, he ran right into me. Received potion. Probably stole something from me. Wow. Let's see. I don't think there's... So, as you can see, I'm going to we'll try and find out. Get another question mark. Oh. Try and get another. Oh, come on. Come on, Larry, don't be fumbling around. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll try and find... Okay, so when you get these cool little exclamation points, that means that there's an item. Press X, obviously, and you find Grandma's savings of nine gil. <gasps> you're a horrible, horrible thief. You horrible, horrible thief. Oh, and now you're stealing her potions, you horrible, horrible thief, you. Here, she's probably gonna yell at you. Oh. Or not. There's Grandpa. Darling, I'm home. I'm not done with this dress yet. Come back later. Oh, every year it's always the same. You're spoiling them grandkids, I say. Uh, one thing I always liked about Final Fantasy, nobody ever questions why you're running around in their house stealing shit. It certainly does make things easier. Indeed. I'm saving the world and making dizzy pattern. Uh, oh, this pattern makes me thump. Look, 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 I'm the black mage and I'm cute. See, I'm cute. Oh, oh he's so cute. He's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Larry's a crazy, crazy man, folks. That's all I have left to say. I just stared at him as he's going, Yeah, let's do this for ten minutes straight. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Not that bad. Free zombie card. Yeah, there is a card game in here that we'll get into later that we are not going to play. God, I hope not. I don't care what any of you want. I don't care what kind of requests we get. We're not doing it. This card game is worthless and stupid and kind of sucks. Will we even get requests? I mean, seriously, who cares? Boy. It's a stupid card game. Oh, boy. You never know. People might want to... Make our we'll lives have these, miserable. These snotty trolls on YouTube will be like, eh, I did it, why can't you? I did your mom, why can't you? You, I actually spent five months in such a good mood today. <laughs> oh, uh, I guess every mama gets a pity fuck once in a while from your best friend. Oh, gosh. You Steve. brought it up, Larry. <laughs> Why? Why? So, yep, this is the world of RPGs. Basically, lots of dirtling around. And pigeons! <laughs> nobles are spiffy. How can you tell they're nobles? They ain't got shit all over them. <laughs> A lot more ahead before we're through. Indeed. Indeed. Welcome uh -oh. to the bar. This is the bar bar. There he's going to the bar. Speaking of which, Steve, gonna get drunk. Steve? What? I need a beer. Okay, one would, second. You, would you mind giving me a beer? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Ah, the joys of being 21. Indeed. Any of you who are not 21? <laughs> okay. 
Larry is a silly, silly man who likes to drink his beer. His cheap, cheap Midwestern beer. Uh, I know. Oh, I had a Belgian last night that was so good. Oh, Belgians are awesome. I, my, my favorite beer thus far has been Guinness, but this this kind of blew it out of the water, actually. Dude, we should totally split a... Uh, if you come back tonight, we should totally split a, uh, a uh, Belgian triple ale. Ooh. It's like, I think like 750 milliliters. Yeah. For like 10, 12 bucks. That sounds amazing. For me, once in the, the thing, was it once in the, the vat, once in the barrel, and once in the bottle. Mm. The triple ale. That makes sense. My favorite one tastes like chocolate. Ooh, it's chocolate. Beer. Golden Dragon. Beer. Or Golden Rock if you're hoity toity awesome guy. <laughs> So this is the item shop. Um, the only thing that you'll actually want to buy here are a couple of antidotes. Not that many. A couple of antidotes for later. You want 99 antidotes? Why? I don't know. Maybe. You shouldn't need anything else yet. Pretty much every other item you're just going to pick up at some point. Yep. Well, and like I stated earlier, Larry's a bloodhound for this stuff. It's ridiculous. Yeah, no, I'm gonna... I, I basically just run, I will run around in circles and find everything. So I apologize for. Look at that! He just runs to the corner. Oh, I got an ether. Like a boss, dope. Like a boss. I'm taking my wife to the theater tonight, so we shall soon close. Okay, you're not closed yet, and you won't sell me anything. No. Sell me shit! Sell me shit! Keep telling my son we'll go out of business, but he never comes home. Hmm. Which sword to buy? I wish I had a little more money. I'll take your money. I'll take your money. money. Indeed. Let's see. Um, excuse what else is in here. Oh, manly. Did I miss something? I think I missed something. You may have. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, that's Knights of Pluto. Oh, there's, about that. there's another item in here. I swear there's another item in here. Yeah, maybe. There you go, grow wings and fly like a bird up in the sky. Oh, there it is. Boom! Congratulations, you found it. Take that, bitch! What is remedy used for? I don't think I've ever um, seen it. A that. remedy is, uh, oh, what does it do? It, it cures, it cures no. three different things, actually, I think. Oh, it's like a multi-use item. Mm -hmm. So you only have to, like, carry 99, you know, ethers and 99, oh, actually, ethers, uh, 99 anecdotes and sobs. Oh, here we go. Ah, so, Poopo Health. Various stat, yeah, it carries, it does a, it does a few things. Anyway. Oh, you actually got some high points already? Yeah, you start with them. Oh, oh, um, let me, uh, couple of things. So first of all, change your battle speed to fast right off the bat. You're gonna, you will slow it down as the game goes on as you get faster, but right now you want on faster. You're going to be in battle for ever. Yep. Um, also, oh, the active battle thing. So this is nice. So this is also nice if you leave it at active. Um, right at the beginning, you'll turn it to wait later because when it's active, um, even while you're actually, no, I'm gonna leave it on wait. Um, active and wait. Basically, when it's active, even when you're doing an attack, the enemy's active time battle, which is the battle system used, yep. keeps on going. So they will max out and uh, and then do attacks even when you are attacking. So it actually it ends up being more damage. Also, when you're in menus, uh, it will keep there. The active time battle will keep going up while at wait while you're in menus. It won't. Which okay. It's kind of nice. So obviously, the I want to be your canary is all in commemoration for the 16th birthday of Princess Garnet because she's pretty and stuff. Yep. We'll talk to the ticket guy, and this guy will basically tell us. Um, so. Here's my ticket. Can I get in? Watch this. It's a fake. Fuck you, dude. Oh, snap. How now? Don't cry. I know how you must feel. Here, I'll give you these. Don't try to kill them now. Goblin card. Bang card. Skeleton card. You know. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. How about we don't? Jeez. Who is this Alleyway Jack? He must be very He was the four-armed man. Let's see. There's something in here. Yep. Opinion. Weren't you telling me something about the pinions? Like, they're super magical. Oh, yeah. Um, so the Phoenix pinion actually is really neat in the fact that it will, uh, 
Um, when you use it the first time, it will revive your entire party by casting the Summon Phoenix, which does fire damage to your enemy and revives your entire party. And after you use it once, anytime your entire party dies, there's a pers there's a chance that Phoenix will come back and revive everybody and do damage to the enemy, thus preventing a game over. Cool. All right. Um, here is actually one of those really annoying mini games that I'm going to go ahead and try to break 100 because you get stuff for doing so. Yep. Um, this is the jump rope mini game. Now, basically, the trick here is that anytime Vivi's feet touch the ground, you press X. So, what? Yeah, that's fine. So, um, I'm gonna try to do this to, before we finish up. Um, I'm gonna need to concentrate, so Steve here is gonna have to commentate for me. Okay, let's see what we can. All right, here we go. One. He's jumping like a pro. I mean, this is seriously ridiculous. I have no idea how anybody does this. Like, I'd be done after three. He's already at 15. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, ridiculous. I swear to God, if he gets to 100, I'll eat my own shorts. On camera. There we go. He's like Gosu Ninja Pro at this. It's, it's kind of scary. I, I, I've tried this before in the past, and... I just, I can't do it. Uh, not pro enough. Not even close. It's... He's, he, he's like a machine. He's cyber, cybernetic. It's silly. It's crazy. This girl's just like, we're gonna kill you. We're gonna kill you with this jump rope. You're gonna die. And nobody will ever find your body. But, but he's just like, screw you, dog. I'm amazing. I, I don't have to do what you say. I do what I want. Terrible. Terrible. Just not really sure what to say. This is just ridiculous. It's like, if he hits 200, I'll, I'll, I'll eat my own head. I'm just inside out. I mean, no head. Steve will be the headless commentator. This is kind of silly. I'll be the disembodied body. No, Steve. This is kind of crazy. Just a little bit. Oh my god. He hits 200. This is ridiculous. This is insanity. This is Kirktown! Oh my god. Damn it! That's... Well, you did good. Yeah. I, I think we've done enough. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, after 200, the, uh, the way that the... It gets a little crazy because the, the, uh... The tempo changes, it goes bum, 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 bum. So if you don't get it right away, you mess up and that's it. Wow. But yeah, um... I think that we're out of time for this session. Uh, when we come back, we will meet Alleyway Jack and find, try to find a way to get into the try to get find a way to get into the theater because I mean, come on, the show must be awesome. I mean, yeah. it was written by the equivalent of the William Shakespeare after all. That's completely ridiculous. I mean, that there's a William Shakespeare, you know, in this world. Actually, I have no idea who wrote it, but I, it must be. Fair enough. Fair enough. So. This is Steve. And this is Larry. We'll catch you next time.